my book haul for April and May. Um, so I'm just going to get right into it. So the first book that I got in April was a birthday gift um, from a friend. And it's The Hard Parts by Oxana Master. Um, so this was a birthday gift that was given to me. Um, and I, this one was given to me in April. Um, when he came to my apartment, so the, uh, I'm hoping to get to read this one soon. Yeah, it's definitely, I feel like, mentioned on my TBR for this month, um, once I finish one of these two books that I have that I'm still work currently working on. Um, so, yeah. And then, um, the rest of the books in this pile are ones that I have for May. So, and three I had gotten for myself with, uh, Books A Million, two Books A Million gift cards that I got from friends for my birthday. Um, so the book, first book I got was How to End a Love Story by Yolan Kong, a novel. Um, and this is the May Reese Witherspoon Book Club of the Month book. Um, so I got it because I'm wanting to hopefully maybe start reading this one tonight, maybe. Um, so yeah, I got this one from Books A Million with my Books A Million, my two Books A Million gift cards. And then the other book that I got from Books A Million, um, is by Tessa Bailey, um, and it's Hook, Liner, and Sinker. Um... And the, this was another Books A Million book that I had ordered on their website. So yeah, this is just about, um, hang on, what is the book, How to End a Love Story is about, um, about this girl, Helen, who pours everything into her career, and she's even scored a confidence spot in a writer's room for a TV adaption of her young adult novels. And if she can hide her imposter syndrome, surely the rest of her life will fall into place, too. LA is the fresh start she needs. After all, no one knows her there except Grant has done everything in his power to move on from the past, including building a life across the country. And while the panic attacks have never qu quite gone away, he's well liked around town as a screenwriter. He knows he shouldn't have taken the job on Helen's show, but it will open doors to develop develop his own projects that he just can't pass up. So that's basically what that book's about. And then um, the uh, hook, liner, and sinker is King's Crab Fisherman Fox Thornton has a reputation as a sexy, a carefree flirt. Everyone knows he's guaranteed a good time in bed and out. And that's exactly how he prefers it. Until he meets Hannah, Hannah, um, she's immune to his charm and good looks, but she seems to enjoy his personality, um, and wants to be friends, um, question mark. And then the Exana Master, basically the gist of this book is just, um, she was born in Ukraine, um, and she's a para-Olympian, so it just tells her story that um so yeah the and then the next book i got is um funny story by emily henry Hen em emily henry excuse me and um henry operates at the top of her and her readers intelligence telling shoppers and heartfelt stories that their conscience conscience is of romantic comedy 
um, without being overly meta about them. Henry's dedicated readers know that except with charm and heart, satisfying is the last page. Um, so, yeah. And then the next book I got, my mom got for me, and it is... Um, actually, my therapist had told me about this book. Um, and it's the, the Red Tent, um, by Anita Daymate, Daymate, how you say her last name? Um, and this is just about females, um, when they're on their, you know, menstrual cycles shall we say. Um, so, and this was a book that was recommended to me, um, by my therapist. So, uh, mom got me this book, so I'm gonna save this for, put this on my Jean TVR to bring it to Colorado with me to read. Um, so, yeah, that is it for this book haul for April and May. If you guys have any comments, if you should do, comment down below on my Facebook page, and I hope everybody has a great day. Bye.